I am just going to bring up a question that you brought up earlier on, earlier on in the conversation. And I think you've, you've, you've answered it already, but I want to just ask the question again to see if there's anything different. And there may not be. Um, and that is the question that you raised, what is the purpose of life? Now, you mentioned learning. But if I was to ask you, if someone was to ask you that question, Gonzalo, or should I say Dr. Gonzalo, since you have the, the doctorate, Gonzalo, what is to you the purpose of life? How would you respond to that? Because it's a very difficult question to answer from, from, from my perspective anyway. Because I think it's something that you have thought about potentially quite extensively. So I'm curious to hear what your thoughts are on what is the purpose of life. One way, one way to think about it, one way I think about it, is that rather than being, rather than like, there being a purpose in life that we have to sort of discover and pursue, it's something we make. Now that doesn't mean that kind of anything goes. I decide, well, the purpose of my life is going to be making as much money as I can. And then I pursue that, and that's just as good as any other thing. When we think of purpose, part of what comes to mind is the idea of sort of fulfilling uh, the nature of something. Mm. So you say, well, uh, fulfilling a function or, 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 or uh, so the purpose of a hammer is to push a nail into you know, a wall or mm. a wood or whatever. And in a way, once you once you do that, it makes the hammer make sense. Mm. Once you like, well, let's say you didn't know what a hammer is for. Mm. And you're using it to prop you know, a wobbly table up or right. you use it as a paperweight or whatever. Mm. <laughs> and then it's like, sure, it does the work, but what does it have its shape? Just things are not, they don't make a whole lot of sense. And then somehow someone shows you this is what you use it for. And boom, you, 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 you know, you hammer the nail. And now that makes, oh, now everything makes sense. That's why. That's, that's the purpose. So I think when we say the purpose of life, it's like, it's going to be something like that. You live your life in a way that things all of a sudden makes sense. Mm. That's why we are like this. That's why we are mortal. That's why we have desires, but also limitations and just live a life in a way that what we are makes sense. Mm. And it seems to me that, you know, for example, when we are so obsessed with like, and I noticed in, in Korea, it's like the US in that sense, some, some concept of success. We pursue success. And, and when we live our lives that way, just our humanity doesn't make a lot of sense. Mm. For most of us, that we are not, if we were kind of perfect, some kind of ideal perfect person, then that would make sense. But we are not, none of us is, and then getting old and dying doesn't make sense in that. Just the whole, just a lot of things are just problematic. I think the purpose of life is going to be something like that. Like you live a life in a way that, that your, your life becomes meaningful. And I think in the end, it's gotta, uh, gotta do with two things. One is understanding who you are. We, we, I think we've made a lot of like self deception. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of suffering that comes from that. And I think living our lives in a way that we come to see who we are. Clearly, learning about ourselves, accepting ourselves, loving ourselves, that's, that's, that's important. From a Buddhist point of view, that means, this is kind of a, uh, a question of faith in Buddhism, or mm -hmm. as a doctrinal question, as a, as a principle. But the idea is that, uh, in principle, everybody inherently has, you know, Buddha nature. Or like, it's not going to happen that you're going to, uh, do the work of understanding who you are and then discover that somehow you are really wrong and something really awful is happening. Like, 
the whole point is the, 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 the principle is that if we do that, if we live that way with the, with the goal of understanding who we are, we will discover that each one of us has some sense of dignity and and and, and beauty and, and and all that. So I think that's part of it. Uh, getting past all the lies we tell ourselves about who we are. And I think another one is connections. Just living our lives in a way where we connect meaningfully with other people, with life, with the with the world. And and that's how I mean not many of us do that well. We 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 isolate ourselves in many ways from people, from nature. Interesting. So so if I so if I was to sum that up, essentially you, you're saying there's two as two aspects. One is um, coming to understand and accepting yourself, which, like you said, is a lot a lot of people find very difficult. And the second one is connecting with others in a meaningful way. Those two are, I guess, key areas in, in when when you start thinking about what is the the purpose of life, the meaning of life. Yeah, that's exactly right. I think if yeah, yeah cool. a, a person who accomplishes those two mm. over a lifetime, you could say, this has led a meaningful life. 